A robot in the operating room may seem like the future, but for surgeons at the Seitman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine, the future is already here. Imagine if you're a patient with a major cancer facing a major surgery. We're able to now, with robotic technology, go inside the patient through tiny incisions, perform these major operations, and get the patient back to work or their families within just a day or two. It's truly amazing. For cancer patients diagnosed with certain prostate, kidney, or GYN cancers, surgeons can treat them in a minimally invasive fashion with a robot called Da Vinci. Patients in the old days would have to undergo a major uh, operation through a midline laparotomy with uh, um, subsequent wound complications, uh, long recovery time, uh, and in-hospital uh, recovery time. Nowadays, those patients uh, are becoming laparoscopic candidates. It works like this. A surgeon sits at a nearby computer console to control three robotic arms. Two of the arms hold surgical tools to perform the operation, while the third arm holds a camera allowing a surgeon to view the surgery. I have the option of clutching the instrument, repositioning my hand uh, to mimic what the arm uh, of the robot is doing, and then be able to have the full range of motion to mobilize this little ring in this example to where I want it to be. All surgeons were not created equal in the minim minimally invasive world and this levels the playing field. This gives everyone the ability to use instrumentations and do minimally invasive cases without actually having to be limited by what you physically can do with your arms. Surgeons say such flexibility allows for an easier outcome for patients. It's much more user friendly than laparoscopy um, in the sense that um, there's a full range of motion of the instruments, uh, just like your hands. Allows you to have even better visualization that you would have with your eyes in an open case, uh, other than you using magnifying lenses during the case. While da Vinci technology is available nationwide, surgeons at the Seitman Cancer Center have developed new ways to remove cancers using the technology. Within urology, robotics is most commonly used for prostate cancer, but we've really been pioneers in using it for kidney cancer. And the way we use it are, is that we can extract or cure patients of very small tumors through these small incisions, but still save their kidney. Use of the device is spread to other surgical areas as well. Endometrial cancer, um, patients undergoing prophylactic surgery for uh, hereditary cancers, um, and maybe s s smaller ovarian masses. I think that one of the major advantages of uh, the Da Vinci system is the ability to convert patients who were previously not deemed to be good candidates for minimally invasive surgery to become uh, such candidates. Doctors emphasize not all patients are candidates for robotic surgery. However, they are excited by the technology. Tomorrow is actually here today. I think that we're gonna be able to do complex surgeries in a remote nature. We could have those surgeons do particular cases at a distance in uh, patients that are not candidates for being mobilized or to travel to those centers of excellence.